In this lesson, we will use the normal distribution calculator from onlinestatbook.com to determine probabilities. And the direct link to the calculator is given here in the lower left-hand corner. Given a data set of test scores is normally distributed with a mean of 75 and a standard deviation of 8.2, determine the probability that a randomly selected test score is in the given interval. Give the answer as a decimal to three decimal places and a percent of one decimal place. Part A, find the probability that X, the test score, is greater than 90. Going to the calculator, we first enter the mean and standard deviation. The mean is 75. The standard deviation is 8.2. Because we're looking for the probability that X is greater than 90, we select above because of the greater than inequality symbol and change the value to 90 then press tab return or press recalculate. Now looking at the graph above, notice how the area is shaded below the curve above the test score of 90. This area gives us the probability that the randomly selected test score is greater than 90. Looking below to three decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.034. Which is equal to 3.4%. Next, we want to find the probability that X is less than 70, or the randomly selected test score is less than 70. Going back to the calculator, we now select below and change the value to 70. Press tab return or recalculate. Again, looking at the graph, notice how it shades the area below the curve to the left of 70, this area is equal to the probability the test score is less than 70, which is shown below as 0 0.271, which is equal to 27.1%. Part C, we're asked to find the probability that X is greater than 65 and less than 82. To find this probability, we select between and enter the test scores of 65 and 82. And once again, press tab return or press recalculate. Looking at the graph, notice how the area below the curve is shaded between the test scores of 65 and 82. This area represents the probability, which below is given as 0 0.692, which is equal to 69.2%. For D, we're asked to find the probability that X is less than 65 or X is greater than 85. To find this probability, we select outside, then enter the test scores of 65 and 85. Press recalculate. Once again, notice how the area below the curve shaded to the left of 65 and right of 85 is shaded. This total area represents a probability that X is less than 65 or greater than 85, which to three decimal places shown below is approximately 0 0.223, which is equal to 22.3%. I hope you found this helpful.